Hello everyone, this is a quick uh, overview of the parts needed to make uh, this uh, home navigation project work. So let's see what parts do we need. First of all, we are going to start with a Dragon Board 410C that uh, we had a look at the previous video. This board can be bought from uh, arrow.com. It's around uh, 75 US dollars. So not a very expensive board. The second uh, item that uh, we managed to receive today is the LCD panel for uh, the navigation. This uh, is the way that we have received the board. This is a power line connector a barrel jack to USB. If the specification for the LCD are right, uh, it uh, will need uh, 12 volts power. This is a flexible cable to connect the uh, buttons for the LCD to power it on off and also to control the on-screen display menu but uh, in our uh, specific case we are not going to need it but it's, it's nice to know that uh, it's come included so flexible cable connects to the keyboard inside this is the main uh, driver for the LCD the bag is a little small for this board but it's okay it's anti-static bag that helps so on this board we have the barrel jack uh, for the 12 volts power hdmi vga av in also can uh, connect a secondary av line on this uh, connector for uh, specific cases where uh, in the future we are uh, going to use this AV line for uh, reverse uh, camera and uh, for this we are, are going to need to test uh, if the boards know if the primary input connection for, for this board is the AV line or the HDMI from my experience the main input is the AV port so when uh, you are going to power on the reverse camera it's going to automatically flip the image from the HDMI to the camera and also when the camera is powered off switch it back to the HDMI input so it should be a very streamlined uh, process and now let's have a look at the LCD panel this LCD panel is a 7 inch display the LCD has 16.5 cm with 10 cm height, so it should be okay. The LCD itself is very slim, this will help us with the clearance inside the board of the car, so this should be okay. Let's move on. Let me show you the touch screen. This is the way that uh, we have uh, received it from China. It's a uh, improvised uh, box. This is the touchscreen controller. This is a conversion line for the touchscreen. USB adapter for the controller. And now the screen itself it came uh, wrapped in uh, bubble wrap a lot of it but I'm glad that uh, the shipping went uh, okay and the screen is intact I have tested this uh, touchscreen on the Windows 10 machine and uh, works perfectly so yes, I'm very satisfied with it. It's a very good touchscreen with a decent sensitivity, so it's okay. Let's put this aside. 
and continue. In addition to this, we are uh, intending uh, to add to the Drago board an uh, external GPS antenna. For this, we have ordered the Sicoricom GPS antenna. The specs for this antenna will be posted here. If you want to read them, pause the video and have a look. Also, we have bought some uh, PCB connector for the Dragon board that we are uh, going to solder them on. So, we will cover this in a separate video. So, stay tuned. Taking into consideration the fact that uh, we are going to use this board inside the the car where uh, in summertime you can have over uh, 50 degrees we are going to add to it a small uh, radiator this radiator is a 3 cm by 3 cm aluminium block that I have recovered from an old uh, motherboard you can see that uh, it almost fits perfectly but I will need to cut out around uh, half a centimeter from it to have a perfect fit we'll add it to the middle and over it we are going to place a fan this is a brushless uh, 12 volt uh, fan that uh, we're uh, going to power over the GPIO ports for connecting the fan to the GPIO, we are going to use a Dupont wire with a two male connection at each end. We are going to cut the wire in half and uh, solder on each end of the fan. The, the connection to the Dragon board on the GPIO with these wires will be a very tight one. We are going to do something like this it's the Opal Astra H cover this is the cover from the original OEM navigation that uh, we are going to modify slightly by this we are going to cut off 5 millimeters on each side and uh, 3 millimeters on the down uh, upside and this should give us enough clearance to install our uh, 7 inch display without losing any on screen real estate so so stay tuned because we are going to add frequent uh, videos with this project this week 